And we have done. Well done. What do we finish? Three over. 97th. We didn't deserve to make the cut anyway. Though. Adam Hadwin. Hey. I cannot believe that. That was just truly, truly awful stuff here to start the season, boys. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to more EA Sports PGA Tour career mode. Last time out, we missed the cut in our first event of the season, but we're coming back with a vengeance here at Torrey Pines. One of the tougher courses in the game, I would say, is Torrey Pines South Course, but I'm very much looking forward to the Farmers Insurance Open here. Uh, we're going to be doing all four rounds, or I hope we're going to be doing all four rounds. <laughs> Last time it didn't work out so well uh, in this video, and we're going to be playing alongside Cameron champ in round number one we're two under um through however many holes we we're, we're on the fifth two under through four a tory pines okay we'll take that all day long let's go all right let's see we might honestly be in the lead here all right yeah we are leading that's what i thought that's what i figured but yeah guys please do drop a like if you want to see this uh season continue uh, drop a like. Let me, let's aim for like 500 likes on this video. I know that's a lot, but I think we can do it. If you want 20% off Rogue Energy, use my code Apex Sound. You'll get 20% off uh, every order going forward. Uh, also, I will be going to London this weekend. Uh, so apologies if the content isn't as fluent. I am going to try to get some stuff scheduled for you guys. I'm only away Saturday to Monday anyway. I'm coming back on the Monday. Uh, I'm leaving early Saturday. I'm going to the Live Golf event. Uh, I'm going to be bringing my camera, uh, doing a little behind the scenes. I'm meeting a couple of friends over there. And then... Yeah, I'm going to the Grand Prix on Sunday, uh, which is actually my birthday. I'll be turning 29. Going to the Grand Prix uh, in Silverstone, and then I'll be back uh, on the Monday. Going with Game Riot to, to the Silverstone Grand Prix, or the British Grand Prix, I should say. Uh, very much looking forward to that, my first Grand Prix. Uh, so yeah, I'm buzzing. I'm buzzing. I got into F1 in 2021, and uh, I've been loving it ever since. I've, I'm, I've got addicted. I've, I watch every single race. I watch every quali, and uh, yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm addicted. I'm addicted. I actually got these new widgets on my phone. Uh, box, box. I don't know if you guys heard of it, but look, you can see there. I got the uh, uh, the UK tells me when the when what time each session is, and then down below is the standings as well. Uh, Cameron Champ hits uh, minus ten point three percent for the driver or three wood. I'm not even sure honestly, but uh, he's left himself a long way back there. We are yeah, that was a three wood. We're pumped way past Cameron Champ there. I don't know why he laid back so far. But the AI do some strange things, eh? They really do. But uh, yeah, also, guys, as I'm making my return to golf, I know uh, you guys saw that I've actually been at the golf course. I'm going pitch and putt today. Um, I don't know if you guys even know what pitch and putt is, but it's basically just like really short par threes where you'd like need no more than like a 50, 50 degree wedge. And they're all over the place here in Ireland. I think they're over in Canada and stuff like that as well. I don't know if US have them as much. All right, let's see if we can put this over the pin. And spin it back. Oh, that was slow. That's not going to be too good, I don't think. Way too slow. Oof. That's not a good start. That is not an ideal start. And that is a bad sign of things to come, considering how poorly we played uh, in the last round. Honestly, that was really unacceptable <laughs> how bad we were at PGA West. we got to be better here at Torrey Pines. No doubt about it. Because Torrey Pines is going to be tougher, too. This is, uh, I would say, a good foot up. I would, I would think a good foot up. So I'm going to go to, like, 50. I'm going to go to 55. Let me go with that, because this, this does look like this is going to be... I think it comes off the right a little bit in the middle of the putt as well. Let's see. Let's see how right I am. Yeah, I was right. I was right. It's a really good effort. Good putt. Tap in par. We'll take that any day of the week. Uh, as I was saying, I'm making my return to real golf. Um, would you guys, like, prefer if I just created a new channel for all the real life golf stuff or are you okay with all the real life golf stuff being here on this channel uh, i'm kind of curious on that maybe i'll do a po poll on the community page or something but what a putt by cameron champ and lips in great start uh, for him there birdie get it back to level par and we are going to stay at two under par here but yeah i'm curious like um the people that watch these gameplay videos and stuff like that um would you guys also watch the the real life golf stuff um because I, it seems like there's a big crossover because a lot of people that watch my channel also watch like when i look at my analytics pretty much all of it is like good good bob does sports all of those guys rick shields you know um so i think there's a big cross over there that's a hell of a hell of a line from cameron champ right there uh and again he's hit three wood and again He's left himself a horrible shot there. Cameron Champ is is smiling like he really likes that for some strange reason. 
Uh, I don't think you'll you'll like it when you get up there too much, Cameron. Um, so I'm going to play a little bit of a high fade here to try and get this coming in off the left-hand side. Um, I'm going to be aiming a little bit further left for that. And that should be absolutely splendid. That should be absolutely splendid, and it is. Perfect golf shot there. I am hitting things a little slow, though. And that's something we need to keep an eye on. So, yeah, we'll keep an eye on that going forward. 221 yards left. Perfect. I wouldn't have been able to get the same shot shaping with the um, with the power drive, so I just hit the normal drive. Going to be a layup for Cameron. Because of his st strange decision to lay up off the tee. But, yeah, there you go. And miss the fairway. So, yeah, he's left himself a nice 58-yard shot there, though. All right, we can get a really good eagle chance here now. 215 to the front. Five iron. For as much height uh, as possible on this. Perfect. Come on, don't, no, don't fade. Sit, 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 sit. Ah. Uh, a little unfortunate, actually. I thought that was going to be better. Hmm. I think if it had actually hit the fringe, it would have stopped dead. I, I find that in this game. If you hit the fringe, it stops dead. Whereas if you land it on the green, it runs out quite a bit. Especially when downwind with a long club. But yeah, I'm looking forward to going pitch and putt uh, later today. I haven't been in a long time now. Like since before my injury. Um, so, and it was quite a ways before my injury that I went pitch and putt as well. I was more golfing. Uh, pitch and putt is fun, man. It's just like you go up, hit like a 50 degree off like a little rubber tee box, and there are small greens. Uh, but yeah, it's it's good fun. It's bad downhiller here, and I mean, really not nice at all. I genuinely think I could hit it like 28 here, 27, 28, 25 even maybe. I don't know. This is gonna this is gonna run like crazy. I think. Let's see. Let's see if I made the... Yeah, still. Wow, that's insane. I brought that back more than a foot. Way more than a foot. And it still went 17 foot by. That's insanity. That's crazy. I should have just played for literally the top of the hill and let the hill take it all the way down. Damn it, own champ. From deep. Ooh. Good putt, though. Much better than mine, that's for sure. At least he didn't go 17 foot by. But his was for a birdie, so I can't give him too much credit. All right, let's go with like 23, 24, something like that, and then try and power it through the break a little bit. We did that. Nice putt. Nice putt back. Really nice putt back. We get to three under par. How many holes are we playing here in round one? I don't know. Uh, three after this, so we're playing until the ninth hole. So we're playing seven, eight, nine. And then we're done for round one. Cameron Champ misses. Okay, Cameron. <laughs> Cameron, you absolutely suck. Tap it in. Just give it a little tap, 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 roo, Cameron. Bogey for Cameron. Champion moves back to one over. We lead the way at three under par here at Torrey Pines by two. All right, let's play a little drive down the right side here. Down the left side, rather. That should open up the angle perfectly for this shot here, and that's gorgeous. Gorgeous golf shot, and the pin's in the middle of the green as well. That's absolutely ideal, son. Thank you very much. Let me guess. He's not going to hit driver. Oh, he is, but he's going to hit at minus 20. Minus 9. Actually, might not be too bad, Cameron. Yeah, that works. Cameron just hit full driver. He'd be past me every single time, but he never does. <laughs> Hilarious. All right, 144 yards left for him. 126 yards left for me. Cameron Champ with the Nike gear. That's going to be really good. Really good shot from Cameron Champ. Seven foot five inches for a third day. Mm, I think I just take a little off this. I think my shot will be similar to his if I just hit this right. Yeah. Come on, be the one. Be the one for me, baby. Don't spin, don't spin, don't spin, don't spin, don't spin. Ah. I spun it. I spun it too much. All right, my bad. 40 foot for, uh, for a birdie. We're gonna go, it needs to go to like 60, I would say, at least. And it is below, but I think it turns back the other way then. Midway through the putt, does it? I think. Honestly, hard to tell with this sometimes. But I'll go with 62 and we'll just... That is one of the worst putts I ever hit in my life. I mean that. Really. 
I think I think what happened was I was dragging it back and then midway through the putt my, my finger like stayed there for a second and like just stuck it and then it Oh my god I can't believe it. Mom we just need to make this. No oh, bullshit. Nope. Damn it, I knew it! I saw 0 0.1 degree below. I was like, you know what? If I hit this hard, I'm going to hit through. But I was like, it's still a good turn. And it did. What a silly bogey to give back, man. Dipshit idiot. Moron. 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 Ah, oh, that's so frustrating, man. Because it was such a good birdie. And I give it right back like that is just utterly disappointing. It really is. All right. All good. Come on, Cameroon. Eh? Playing a big fade. A giga fade from Cameron Champ. Not fading enough, man. Yeah, Cameron Champ is not going to show us how it's done. That's for damn sure. <laughs> that was what I would call ass cheeks. I think I come a club back. What is to the front? 165? Yeah, I'm going to hit this. Hang on, there's someone at my door. Please go in the hole. Imagine I missed my first hole in one. Hang on. No, pretty good. All right, Cameron Champ put it close with his chip. Sorry, there's someone at my door. Don't even know who it was. But here we go. Let's see. Gonna be a little quick downhiller. Turn. No, it didn't turn that much. All right. It was more right at my feet that it turned. Then it kind of straightened out. But should be a par. Hard to bloody see with this, honestly. All right. Nicely done. Let's finish with a birdie on on nine and then see what the sim can do for us because right now we're level par for the for the stretch that we've played if we could finish under par for the stretch that we have played that would be nice Cameron champ again nearly misses a short putt i don't know i thought they'd fix those short putts but it doesn't seem like they have <laughs> doesn't seem like they have honestly all right is tied at the top with me now we're no longer the solo leader here and we got a 615 yard par five coming up here so a birdie would do nicely all right Long par five. I'm just going to hit the power drive. We hit the fairway. We can go for it. If we miss it, it's a layup. And we've missed it. So it's going to be a layup. That is going to be a certain layup. All right. No worries. I, honestly, we could lay up to uh, for, uh, from here. Just hit it uh, 150 yards or so. And we'll leave ourselves a 100 yard shot. All right, Cameroon. Let's see what you can see what you got. Come on. Hit a power drive. Come on. I want to see a bomb one. Minus 4.6. He's hit a good drive. Still, I just want to see him hit it 100%, you know? He's hit a good drive there, but still not as hard as he can hit it. He's, he has a chance to get there in two, though. 331. He has 265 left. Go for it, Cameron. Go for it. Do not take out an iron right now. Yes! That's what I want to see, Cameron. I want to see you playing golf like Cameron Champo. Oh. <laughs> That's a stinker, Cameron. You had to hit that minus 7.7 .7 and it was still the right distance, pretty much. <laughs> All right, 208 to there, so anywhere less than that. Honestly, I'm just going to hit like one. I'm going to hit like 170 and just play a high 8 iron here. A little high draw, 8 iron. Let that, uh, let that settle in the middle of the fairway there and leave ourselves a nice wedge shot. Those pins at the front of the green, it's accessible. Um, let's see if we can put a wedge shot close. We got to mind the spin, though. We got to manage the spin a little bit here on this one. Perfect. All right, let's put this close. Come on. So good. So smooth. So clean. Don't spin. A little bit. Just a little bit. Perfect. Glorious shot. And we have that to finish with our, our round. Not not the round, but the, the part that we're playing with a birdie. Would be really nice. Honestly, if we finish the round under par after the after the sim, I'll be happy. Even if we birdie this, just, just to finish the rest of the round under par. Like the whole round, I mean. Cameron Champ with an absolutely impossible shot, and he's laying up. <laughs> oh, Jesus, Cameron, you are ass. Your short game is ass, huh? Cameron, Cameron, Cameron. What do you be doing with yourself here? I'd love to know. Oh, my God. Cameron, Cameron, Cameron. <laughs> and he still has this for a par. That's the crazy part. If he makes a par out of this, that would be crazy. No, it's going to be a bogey. 
All right, below. One degree. Nope, didn't turn. Didn't turn. They dead straight with that pace. And I didn't even mean to overswing it like that either. Man, that sucks. That sucks, man. All right, two under. Let's see what we are at the end of the round. That's the most important thing. Ah, it's frustrating. It's frustrating. It is what it is. Cameron, what you got for us, buddy? Birdie? Bogey? Six over. Oh. Ooh. What did we finish? Oh, I think we... Five! Okay! Hell yeah! I played my part in level par in the sim that did me the world of good there. <laughs> I'll take that. Yeah, five under par. Round one here at Torrey Pines. That's good enough for solo second. Adam Hadwin shoots uh, really low there in round one. Fair play to him. Uh, but round two, we're playing with Tony Fee now. Uh, projected cut lines two over. We don't need to worry about that. Leader is Patrick Rogers as it stands right now. Let's jump in and do this thing, my friends. I'm excited. I'm excited and delighted, baby. Come on, Tony. Me and you are going to rip it up, baby. 14. Okay. Yeah, we're playing last five holes. Perfect. I love that. Fifth place as it stands. But I think... I think this would give us a really good chance going into the weekend if we even just parred the last five holes. But a couple birdies coming in. Be absolutely special. Gorgeous shot there. Can we bounce back from a missed cut with a win? That's the question. That would be amazing. Tony! Nice. Good shot. Two good shots to start here. We're a little bit past, but we always are because they never hit full drives. Tony Fino's yellow outfit. I'm not sure on this outfit, Tony. I gotta be honest with you. Not sure on the color of the shirt, but I respect you. I respect you too much to say anything. Tony Fino, good shot. Really good birdie chance on, uh, on 14 for Tony. Do we know what score Tony is? I didn't actually even check, to be honest. A little finesse here. A little bit of spin with the 60. I don't want anything too crazy, though. Aiming a little too far left with there, I think, so. That is so good. Oh, my God, that's good. Go in. <laughs> oh, what a shot. Baby, let's go. That's a birdie on 14. And that will move us to 6 under. So, Tony's at uh, 5 under as well. Okay. Good. I'm gonna have a battle with Tony here. Tony misses though, and we're gonna make. So that's a big, big move from us here on the 14th hole. We've got under par for the round, and we're moving closer to the leaders. I don't know what score the leaders are. We'll check here in a second. Um, I'll check right now, actually. Let's just have a look. Keith Mitchell leads the way at seven under. He's not finished his round yet, but we're one back. This is awesome. All right, lots of big names up there. Matthew Fitzpatrick, Tony Fina, Will Salatoris, Patrick Rogers. Okay. Come on, let's be leading this thing by the end of round two. I want the I want the I want the halfway lead in this thing. In 470 today. And it's a good fade. It might be too much of a fade. It should be actually perfect. Thank you very much. There you go. Beautiful shot. About a 150? 140, okay. Less than 140 left. Sublime drive there. Fee now. Show us what you got, buddy. Tony. 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 Ooh. Lucky you didn't clip that branch there, I gotta be honest with you. But nice drive. Very nice drive indeed from Tony Fino. Oof. Oh yeah, Tony. Beast mode. Oh my god, go in. Oh, Tony, you've been robbed. <laughs> Oh, that's a little unfortunate. It's the pin. Uh, I think that might have spun back anyway, to be honest. Well, maybe not, actually. It was a longer shot. Oh, that's a little unlucky for you, Tony. A little unlucky for you, pal. Be good. Come on. Be good. Be good. Sit! Good shot. Really good shot. Nicely done with the pitch and wedge there. 10 foot for birdie. For back to back birdies here. Fifth place for Tony Fino. If he chips this in, we'll move into a tie for second. Not to be. Not to be. This is going to be a difficult one, I think. It's going to be a little, little one. A little downhill snake of a pot, I think. 
I'm gonna turn a bit further right than you think. Yep, exactly! Further than you think, so why did I bring it in then, idiot? Golly gosh almighty. That's frustrating, but it's okay. We'll have more opportunities. Tony's missed it too. He'll slip back to four under par. And we will stay at six under par. Tony's got to be kicking himself there because that should have been a birdie. He's walking off with a bogey, you know? The golfing gods were not on your side on this hole, Tony. I'll give you that much because I think your ball actually, now that I'm thinking about it, probably would have been a couple of foot away if it didn't hit the pin there. Maybe about five foot past the pin or something. That's a little bit unfortunate for you, Tony, but that's the way the cookie crumbles in golf. Oh, Keith Mitchell gets to eight under with one to play. So Mitchell is making his move. Now we've got a tough par three here. This is a really tough par three, actually. I am thinking that I'm going to draw a five iron in here. I know that might seem like not enough, but... Didn't fade it enough, or draw it enough, rather, that's staying out there. That's a fucking poor golf shot, isn't it? How did that stay out that far? It's not atrociously bad. It's going to be a putt about 50 foot, though. Honestly, it's a really tough par three. I'll take a two putt par on this one any day of the week. You know, going more direct. Going right at it. That's short, though. That's what I was worried about as well, you know, because if you line it on the green, that's going to run up there close to the pin. But you could easily go left and go into the bunker and leave yourself a really tough up and down. We're actually further away than Tony somehow. All right, this is... They're telling me this is uphill. Okay, interesting. I, I wouldn't have thought that. Oh, I can't see because of the tree. I'm struggling to read. I think it definitely breaks left, though. 100%, right? Yeah, no, this is going to break big left. All right, I'd say it's, like, minimally uphill as well. I'll go, like, 50... 51. Underswung it. Good putt, though. Yeah, just needed a little more juice. Honestly, not a bad putt at all. Okay. Honestly, like I said, you could shoot anything under par. It would be really solid. So if we par the, the next three, fair enough. I'll take that all day long. Keith Mitchell's got the eight under, and maybe he'll birdie the last nine under is the best he'll do. So we'll still be in the mix no matter what. Come Sunday here. Tony Fino has gone a little bit past it. Honestly, from where he was, it's not horrible. It's not a horrible bunker shot. Yeah, mine's looking a little further away than, than we thought, huh? A little further away. It's a bit of a scary one. All right. Fino is going dead left. Dead right, rather. Gonna have to trust the gree. I can't see. Gonna have to trust this. Tell me I can trust this. Fuck! I can't read the putt with the goddamn tree in the way, man. They need to fix that. Oh. Turn actually more at the hole. I thought I was going to turn less at the hole. Turn more at the hole. Back to five under, and that's killed us. Uh, that's so annoying. A little bit left, but should be okay. Just. Yes, sir. First cut. All right. First cut, 118 yards left. That's a birdie chance for sure. Yeah, that's drawing a nice little bit there, Tony. Well done. Minus 15.5%, though. I don't know what the hell you're doing with all that. But left yourself a long one now. Looks a little disappointed in himself, honestly. I can see why. And you're taking minus 15% off it. A nice smooth swing there. Really good shot. Really good shot. Well done, Tony. It's going to get a little better there, I think. Not too much. All right, 54 degree. I think I'm just going to hit this. Full. Go slow. Be good. Oh, just go. 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 Don't spin. Don't spin. Good shot. Good shot. Come on. Big birdie chance. Seven foot four inches for a birdie to get back to six under par. Come on. And then we have the par five. We could even get to seven. We could get within one of Mitchell here, but we need to make this putt. It's not going to be a gimme. It's still a tough one. For sure. You know, bang! Well done, Tony. Catches the edge. He's back to four under. He's back in this thing. Giving himself a chance here. Yeah, it definitely breaks off. I wouldn't say there's that much in it. All right, come on, Tarlock. Big time, big chance here. No way, man! No way that turns the other way! God. God almighty. Sometimes they are just really hard to read, man. 
Oh, that's frustrating. I haven't been able to do shit at Tory Pines, honestly. And it's this hole to finish as well. This hole is treacherous, to be fair. You need to hit a perfect drive or else you really can't go for it. Like, you need to hit an absolute bomb. And you need the pin to be at the back for really to have a chance to get it close at all with the second shot. So it's all about the tee shot here. Let's see if Fino's up to it. You gotta hit the power drive as well because you gotta have it up there, man. And power drive is just so unreliable. It's insane. Like, power drive is like a 50-50, it feels like. Fino hit, hit a good one there. That was 250 left. Maybe I'll just hit the... Nah, I think we should try the power drive at least. A little left on me, unfortunately. I'm hitting everything slow off the tee. I don't know why. Get lucky. Get lucky with that bounce. Get lucky with that bounce. Don't go in the bunker. 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 Perfect! Come on. Stay in the fairway. Yes. Ideal. He's hitting an iron. It looks like the pin might be front right. That's in the water. Oh, it's back right. Okay. See you, Tony. See you, Tony. He's into the water. Back right is actually perfect. It's much, much easier. Much more accessible. 220 to the front. We need to hit this. Uh, this is going to be too far, though. That's the thing about it. We just hope upon hope that we can stop this. Please. I'm, I'm, I'm on my knees here. Sit. 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 It's gone. Stop. Ah. Oh. It's going to be an awkward stance, that's for sure. That was really close to being perfect. I think the overswing just killed us. That guy's foot is in the goddamn... It's in the ground. And his thing is hovering. This is sorcery. Tony Fino, his cat... <laughs> Tony got to drop it on the green. <laughs> he has to drop it on the green and putt for birdie. That seems legit. Seems like a legitimate drop. All right. We're going to have an awkward stance here, but definitely a good chance to get up and down. They've moved us, actually. As they so often do. All right, we need to line this real short and just let it trickle down there. Hope upon hope that this stops. Honestly, that's all it is, is a hoping game. Wow, that's gone. See you later. It's actually good. Fair play to us. Come on, let's finish with the birdie at least. Come on, get within one. Yes, come on. Even from that range, I was worried. Get in there, baby. Six under par. And we are in contention heading into the weekend here at Torrey Pines. We're, uh, we're two back of Keith Mitchell. And uh, we're solo second. As it stands right now, solo second. Unless anyone's going to catch us. Tony Finau nearly misses that, to be honest. But he taps in for par and finishes the round at four under. Uh, three bogeys in his last six holes harmed him. But he's still in the mix, no doubt about it. Me and Patrick, Re uh, Patrick Rogers, both six under. All right, my friend. Tony Finau again in round, uh, in round three. Will Zalatoris to eight under now so a couple people maybe at eight under let's see where we're going let's see what hole i didn't actually check what hole we're going to be on or what score we are i think it said i was six under still but i could be wrong we're starting on the 10th okay okay we're level par i'll take that they keep giving me level par after giving me five under in the first round i'll take that all day long no doubt about it 10th hole thin fairway but if we can get it over that bunker there i think we're a-okay and make sure we get it over that bunker we're gonna be right of it that's perfect absolutely perfect mate couldn't be any better. And Fina will be doing well to match that. Tony, come on, lad. Let's have it, son. We are playing four holes. Okay, perfect. I like when you just play four holes in like the third round or something. It's like nice little quick one. Quick little moving day. And then you generally do like five or six in the last round. So. All right. Good stuff, boys. Good stuff indeed. Shot from Fina. Come on, we can win this, boys. 100%. If we can put ourselves in, in position here after this round, let's have a look at the leaderboard, actually. Zalatoris leads. Okay, so... Still only one at eight under. Troy Merritt and Patrick Rogers at seven under. Eno with a poor shot. Unlucky, Tony. I didn't check what score he is, actually. Was he there? He's one over for the round, so he's three, three under total. But he's not really in the mix here. Underswung a big time, but I also fasted it like crazy. That's just an awful shot. That is really a bad golf shot, straight up. Oh my god. Hit the branch, hit the woman. And that is as bad as it gets right there. That was truly a really atrocious golf shot when you think about it. You know, has hit a bad bunker shot as well. Just runs it on through there. Man, I can't believe how bad that shot was right there by me. Can't flop this or anything either because I hit that bloody thing. So I need to... 
itch this. Oh, thank God it hit the branch. <laughs> thank God it hit the branch. I actually think that would have been way too far past. Thank God for that, mate. See now? What you got, baby? Oh, Tony, 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 Fino. Well done, my son. Well done. It's above. Need to make this. Come on. 1.3 degrees above. It doesn't look like it's that much. It was. It was. It was. And uh, you know what? I just uh, don't have it, have it in me. I, I can't read the greens today. I don't know what it is, but these greens are like specifically hard to read compared to the rest of them. A silly, silly bogey. And we're three shots back now. We can't be three shots back heading into the final round. We just can't be. God, that's frustrating, dude. That is simply, simply frustrating. Because you never know what the sim can do for us either. You know, that looks good. And that is pretty goddamn good. I'll give you that. That's pretty damn good, son. Fair play to you. It's kind of getting worse by the day here, though. By the second, I should say. By the day. And it's clearly too much club, and this is clearly too much club. What about... I'm genuinely thinking six iron here. I know that might seem crazy, but I'm genuinely thinking that could be the club. I find five iron and four iron just run too much. That's just awful, man. What's up with these fucking big-ass fasts, dude? Like, they're s such a bad golf shot. If it wasn't fast, 2.7% or whatever, it would have been pretty good, I think. You know, if my aunt had balls, she'd be my uncle, so... Doesn't really make much difference now. Good, good pitch. Really good going. Really good. All right. It's going to be a par. At least it's not back-to-back -back bogeys because that would have been hard to come back from at this uh, at this stage in the tournament. It would have been hard to come back from soon. So cannot complain too much at all. Tony Fino. Hmm. Hmm. Not bad. Good effort. Might be par for me, though. Lovely. Lovely par. All right, we have a par four and a par five. Let's birdie them both. Let's get the seven on. Let's get one back and then hope that the sim can help us. All right, that's what I'm hoping for. That's what I'm hoping for. Even if the sim was level par, that's okay. You know, we need to, we need to start doing some of this ourselves. The sim has honestly been the only reason we're in contention here at the moment. We need to start actually playing some golf myself. I haven't played badly, really. There's been a few really errant shots, but my putting has been atrocious. And Zalatoris is nine under now, so we need to start making some birdies ASAP. Not an easy par four to birdie, but we got to give ourselves some chances, man. Chances that we actually make. <laughs> Being us down the right-hand side there, is that going to be okay? On the edge, but that's good. That's good from Tony. That's really, really nice. Uh, let's see. Uh, stay, stay, stay. Yes, we're on the edge on the other side. But it's going to be a-okay. -okay. Just about. Just about. Stays in the first cut. 155 yards left. A bit further back. A big smile on his face here. That's... Okay, I would say. Pretty good. Pretty good, Tony. Pretty good. Fair play. 144. Honestly, I, I do think this could be good. Yeah, I'm just throwing it like a pussy. Like a pussy-ass pussy. Idiot. Would have been so good if I didn't underswing it as well. Why? Why underswing it by that much? You troglodyte. All right, we're both pretty much the same distance away, I would say, me and Tony. He's a little closer. I thought this was Tony taking his butt for some reason. All right, it's above. Uh, it's uphill slightly. I would say 29 max. And we'll go from right to left for sure. How much it's breaking. I think it might be breaking a little more than this, but yeah. Yep. Good call. Should I actually put it into action, though? Good putt. No, I won't. Tony needs a birdie. And fast. He's got one. He's got one. Tony's only one back of us now, for God's sake. We need, really, really, really need to make a birdie here on 13. And I mean, this is so important, dude. The Zalatoris is four shots clear of us now. We're just inside the top 10. If we want any chance of winning this thing, come down the last. We need a birdie here. And this is not an easy hole. We need wind with us to have a chance to go in two. And still, it's really difficult. But um, it's probably going to be a layup, I would imagine. Because it's a very tough fairway to hit, even if you do bomb it as well. It's like it's a really difficult fairway to hit. 
we'll see. I might be able to go for this in two. I've gone for it in two uh, a few times on 2K23, like when you absolutely tattoo it, but uh, I don't think that's going to be the case today, unfortunately. Draw. Now draw. I mean, that's so good. It really is magical. As good as you could do there, but still not reachable, I would imagine. 285? Nah. Well, downhill, you never know. I mean, if we really just overpower a three wood, we like, I don't know if it's to the point where we need to get that aggressive yet. We'll see. I'll see how I'm feeling about it. Look at the pin. Like, that pin, there's no chance we can get it close to that pin regardless. But, like, would I rather be middle of the green or would I rather be... Yeah, see, what's the front of the green? 272. They're telling me that's uphill. I can't believe that's actually uphill. You know what? I'm going to just try put it middle of the green. That is one of the worst shots I've ever hit in my life. And now I've left myself just so... See, that's why I should have just laid up there. Because I would have had such an... I would have had a way easier shot than I do right now. That's for sure. And that's just my brain being stupid. It really is. That's my brain being dumb dumb. Them for five inches. All right, good putt. Long flop. There's a lot of luck involved there, honestly, but I think I might do it because just if we hit the pitch. It's so hard to judge how it's going to come out of this rough. Yeah, that's the problem with the fucking long flop, though. God. The dispersion zone on the long flop is just ridiculously large, man. We're not even looking at a birdie, no? We're not getting up and down for a par here. Lucky. All right, good chip, good effort. Should be, should be a par. It's not, it's not stone dead, but yeah, we're gonna have to hope to, for some help from the sim. Honestly, not ideal. We haven't been quite at it, I would say. The fact that we're even still in contention at all is surprising. Fino ties us, by the way. Fino has gone through some serious trials and tribulations here. All right, let's see if we can make this. Must make, really. Thank God. And we finished seven under. Fair play. Like, my sim has just been unbelievable. Birdied the last two, and we're in the mix. Three back end of Sunday. Three back end of Sunday. We've got some serious golfers ahead of us, though. Max Homa, Scotty Scheffler, and Will Zalatoris. Three big names ahead of us. So, we'll take that, though. Honestly, the sim has been a lifesaver here. I have a feeling it's going to it's gonna kind of balance out here in the last round and give us a bad round, though. We'll see. Uh, let's see how, how close we are heading into the final round. We're six under, so we're one over for this round. T9. That makes sense. Zalatoris leads the way at 12 under. So, we're pretty much out of the running, you'd have to say. And we're playing with Tony Fee now once again. Three rounds on the trot. We are going to be playing with Tony Finau. Zalatoris is two under. We would need the most insane finish of all time here. <laughs> we're actually only playing the last four as well. So, yeah, no, we're done. Uh, but it's all about, let's try secure top 10 at least. Top 10 in, in round number two would be, uh, or in tournament number two rather, would be a, a nice achievement. We're still getting, getting to grips with our form here. It's not been perfect, no doubt about it. But uh, we can kind of claw back, get a top 10 here, and then move on to the next the next tournament with a little bit of form, you know? I feel like this, the sim has really helped us out a lot here in, in Torrey Pines though. So we could have even been battling the cut line if the sim had been different, uh, you know? So we'll see. Uh, honestly, that's the, the luck of the draw, though. That's just the way it is. Tony Fino, again, really just scaring that tree there. Uh, but it's an absolutely gorgeous drive from Tony Fino and an absolutely gorgeous drive from me. Beautiful start there. Let's see if we can get a couple of birdies here. Come on, Tony. Let's finish strong. Me and you. I don't think you're in the hunt either, are you? I think me and Tony are a little bit too far back. Tony is nine under. Oh, well, Tony could win. Birdie every hole. Birdie every hole and Tony has a chance, but that looks like that's going to be short right. Actually got him a much nicer bounce than I thought. 20 foot for birdie. Right, let's put this close. Come on. Just be the one. Come on. Come on. Go in. Go in. One hop and in, please. Aww. Come on, man. I want one of those to go in. We have had them go in, to be fair, but... Oh, the last few have been, like, just on the edge. It's a tap-in birdie. It's a good shot, but... Uh, we could have done with the eagle. We could have done with the eagle. 
You know, you need to make this, man. You're done. You're done, Tony. You're done, Tony. Put a pin in him because he's done. Unless Alatoris comes back to the field, in which case, Tony, keep keep trucking along, man. Keep trucking along, baby. He's in third place. He's going to miss this. He's aiming way too far left. He's going to miss this, no doubt. Oh, it actually did turn that much. It was in the middle of the cup. <laughs> Fair play, Tony. All right. There we go. Good birdie. 215, 209 to the front. This should be perfect with the... Uh, yeah, this is going to be really good. Underswung it. Crazy. Like crazy. Just a straight up bad golf shot, man. See, I was trying not to overswing it because I've been overswinging the long irons and they've been just running through the green like crazy. So I was trying not to do that, but I did the opposite and underswung it. And that's that, you know, is what it is. Tony Finau. Good looking shot, man. That's a good looking golf shot from Tony Fino. It truly is a magic golf shot. That's just not again, man. Two goddamn massive underswings in a row. Are we really going to give the birdie right back? I'm going to be so upset if we give that birdie right back, man. Let's see how much this turns here. Yeah, quite a bit. Jesus, that's unlucky. It's only one inch of the hole. Seems like the pin is pretty much right on a slope, so. Yep. Bruh. I aimed quite a bit left as well, and it still wasn't enough. That, oh, uh, lads, it's a frustrating start to the season. It really is. It's a very frustrating start to the season. And we're back to over par for the round. Look at that. Bogey, birdie, bogey, birdie, bogey. That is frustrating. Frustrating stuff. We're struggling out here. We're struggling out here to start the new season. It's not the way you'd want to want to start it, for sure. I think we might not be in the top 10 unless we birdied the last two here. Don't be stupid now. Don't be a sausage here, mate, all right? Don't be a sausage, son. You know, good looking golf shot. Yeah, nicely done, sir. Nicely done. 198 yards. Let's see if we can give ourselves a nice... Nice wedge in like last time. A little bit left again like last time, but uh, this one is going to be okay as well. No, maybe not actually. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> That's literally on the edge, but it's in the rough. <laughs> Just makes it a little bit tougher. We'll take a little bit of the spin off actually, so maybe for that length shot it'll, uh, it'll be good. What a shot, Tony. Tony is uh, is hunting. Does he have a chance to win still? Eh, if he finishes Birdie Eagle. Or Birdie Birdie, you never know. But Birdie Eagle will give him a good chance. Alright, we're gonna go for it with the finesse. 54 degree. <laughs> Smack the pin. And it's a tap in Birdie again. What a shot. Bogey birdie, bogey birdie, bogey birdie. <laughs> PBFU after PBFU after PBFU after PBFU. Unreal, Tony Fino does get to 10 under. Come on, I'm rooting for you now, Tony, to get it done. I'm rooting for you to get it done now, my playing partner. We'll move back to seven under. It's just been a topsy-turvy round for us here. And it's another birdie, but we haven't had a par since the 11th. Three birdies and three bogeys. All right, Zalatoris and Fleet. Oh, Fleetwood just posted a 68 to, to get to 1100. What, Tommy lads? Sorry, Fino. I'm rooting for Tommy now. <laughs> I think I think someone's probably going to post like 1213, though. And that someone's probably going to be Zalatoris, to be honest. All right, Fino, come on. This is your chance. Chance to shine. Eagle, you could post 12 under. You never know. Yeesh. You need a bomb, though. You need a bomb.com. That's a bomb. That's a bomb from Tony, for sure. For sure, man. How long is left for him? Where's the pin on this hole? It's at the front left. Oh, that makes it almost impossible, to be honest. I hit the power drive. I knew I was going to pull it. Every time when I hit the power drive, I pull it. I swear. Every time, man. That's a layup now. That's a disappointment. To be honest, it's a really hard shot to get on into anyway, because it's like at the front of the green and you're hitting a long iron, it makes it really, really difficult. I have a feeling Tony's gonna go in the water for back-to-back -back days here if he goes for this. He kinda has to. He's going for it. Tony. 
Tony. Oh, okay. It's actually long. Wow. A little unlucky, honestly, Tony. That's a little unlucky, my man. Do I go for this? YOLO? Okay, it's time to go for it, YOLO. I knew I was gonna hit the lift, dude. <laughs> hey, it's a good layup, though. Look at the top spin on that. Oh, what a layup. No, no, I had to finish with some style. I had to try and go for it. Well, that's a good layup, actually. Perfect wedge distance. Now, it still went about 100 yards, nearly. <laughs> that's funny as hell, man. Oh, that's actually awesome. All right, let's hit a little finesse shot here, I think, is the is the play. Yeah, that's perfect. So good, so smooth, so clean. What a shot. Good shot, good birdie chance. If you get a birdie after that, that'll be quite nice. Quite simply lovely. Let's see if Tony can get up and down for a birdie to match Tommy Fleetwood's clubhouse lead here. He needs an up and down or he's out. Aggressive. That's aggressive, Tony. A nice shot, though. Stop. 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 All right. Tony's looking to join Tommy. Furlock, Tony, Tommy. We're the three, three T men. I think it breaks back the other way. Am I wrong? I think it breaks back the other way here. It's below at my feet, but I think it breaks back to the left here. If I made a mistake. I was correct. Just break a little bit more than that, actually. It's going to be a par to finish. It's going to be a seven under. It's probably going to be a top ten. Teetering around that. We'll see. Tony Finau to join the clubhouse lead. He needs it. He needs it. He needs it. He gets it. Tony Finau joins the clubhouse lead. Will he be in a playoff later? You never know. Tommy Fleetwood and Tony Finau in a playoff would be awesome. Maybe he joined by Zalatoris or something. We'll see. I think someone, as I said, though, 12, 13 under is going to be the winning score. Seven under for us. Is it going to be enough for a top 10? Oh, Zalatoris did post a 12 under. Yes, he did. I knew it. I knew Zalatoris was going to get it done. And we did get a top 10. Let's go. Top 10. All right, we'll take that. Sim definitely helped us in our endeavors. But uh, overall, I would say an okay week. It's nothing special, but it wasn't, wasn't great. It wasn't great. We're heading to Pebble Beach next week, though. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. We're T22 in the Fetish Cup standings. Uh, honestly, surprised we're even that high. We're still fourth in the World Golf Rankings, but uh, Shoffle, Sung Im, Cantley are all coming for me. So Fina's actually overtaking us as well. Um, so yeah, this should be a fun um, proximity to the hole. We're first. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, but yeah, Pebble Beach up next week. Let me know if you want to see that one. I think I think everyone wants to see Pebble Beach, right? So but we'll do the Pebble Beach Pro-Am uh, in the next one. And hopefully we can um, we can do well at Pebble. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace out. Break.